Rewriting an algebraic expression without a negative exponent. Rewrite the expression without using a negative exponent. Simplify your answer as much as possible. Um, now, this negative 4, this exponent, is only on the p, not on the 2, okay? So it's important to remember this negative 4 is only attached to the p. So really, I have two things here. I have a 2, and I'm multiplying it by p to the negative 4. So I'm just going to separate those two with the multiplication symbol there so that we can deal with these two individually, and then we'll kind of put it back together. So right now, the 2, if I wrote it as a fraction, whenever we're dealing with negative exponents, we're dealing with ratios or fractions. So I'm just going to write these both as fractions. So the 2 as a fraction would be 2 over 1. And then I'm going to write this one also as a fraction over 1. So this one I'm not going to do anything with. I'm just going to leave it like that. But this one, it has a negative exponent. That means if you think of these two as neighborhoods, right, the numerator neighborhood and the denominator neighborhood, that he's not happy living on this side of the tracks, right, or upstairs of our fraction bar line. He wants to move to the other neighborhood. Okay, so he wants to move downstairs to the denominator neighborhood or move to the other side of the tracks here. So the 2 is just going to stay put. We're not doing anything with that. But this one, if I bring the P downstairs, all right, I have this 1, and then the P, whoops, now that he's downstairs, he's happy where he lives with his neighborhood, and so I can get rid of the negative on the exponent. He can be P to the positive 4 exponent. And we'll just put a 1 up there. Now I can just put this back together again. So 2 times 1 in the numerator is 2. 1 times 1 is 1. That's not going to affect anything. Times p to the 4th. So I have p to the positive 4 down there. All that really happened to kind of simplify this or make that expression a lot, or excuse me, that explanation a lot shorter, I could have kept it together like this. The P just wants to move downstairs. The 2 is happy where he is, but the P is going to move downstairs. So I'll have P to the positive 4th downstairs. 